All right, on this video, we've got some updates from EDC Beard Co. out of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, Lee is the owner and he's doing a great job. Uh, and we've got one scent here that really reminds me of home. It's called Piedmont. I'm, on, I'm in the Piedmont of North Carolina. He's in the Piedmont of Virginia. Uh, we've got uh, Coffee Orchard. We've got Tropic Thunder, so three new beard oil scents. We've got a brand new uh, beard wash. I got a lip balm, a lot of stuff to go over with you. But first, welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beer possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, Lee's been around in the community a long time. Uh, he's been a follower of mine here on the channel for a number of years. And then last year, he started uh, making beard products and created EDC Beard Coats, doing just a great job. I uh, really like the vibe of the scents, the product work really good uh, for me. We're going to get into all of that, but you can get a beard oil for uh, $17.99. You can always use the code Banjo15. I am an affiliate. Uh, right now, there's 15 cents available. So he's got a, a pretty big supply um, of offerings there for you guys. And he rotates some of them in and out, but there are some mainline scents as well. Um, you can get a two ounce balm or a butter for $19.99. Uh, you can get lip balm for $2.99. There's six cents that comes in. You got this new eight ounce beard wash that's $19.99. You've got uh, soap bars, uh, 4.5 ounce soap bars that go for $6.99. I think there's like nine cents or so of that. I tried one a while back at the end of last year, I think it was, uh, and it worked great. So uh, check out all of that stuff, but we're going to dive into the new stuff that I have. And the first is the beard wash. So it is uh, more of a daily beard wash. It is not overly stripping, but you do get good amount of suds. Uh, it comes out like a clear uh, gel just about. So uh, sometimes uh, the, the, the handmade um, beard washes can be a little bit washed watery and all of that stuff. This works pretty well. It's just perfect for the, uh, consistency of it. You don't have to use tons to get a, a good amount of lather. I know you don't always have to have a bunch of suds to uh, clean your beard, but it's kind of, I keep wanting to put more until I get enough suds. This gives me the perfect amount. Um, works very well. It's not the least stripping. It's like, the, so you do actually get a really good clean with it without it being uh, overly stripping. So uh, it's not a medium. It's definitely uh, on the um, the less stripping side. The gentle uh, washes is definitely fits in that category, but you do get a really good clean with that. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll put up some of the ingredients here, a partial list, but a lot of good things for you. Um, and then nothing that I saw that was concerning as far as the ingredients it says the uh, suds and Either come from sugar and glucose derived surfactants which was kind of interesting. I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. I do know there's some glucose something or another I've seen as far as uh, ingredients on other things, but a really good beard wash. Check that out. Like I said, it is um, $19.99 for eight ounces. It's going to last you a long time uh, for that. All right, next up, we've got our new beard oil scents. Now your beard oil is uh, made out of borage oil, hemp seed oil, meadow foam seed, apricot kernel, and rose hip. Uh, works very well for me. It is a uh, medium uh, uh, oil. I wouldn't call it overly thick and it's definitely not a thin oil. So we've got three new scents here. Which one do we go and go with first? I tell you what, let's go with the one that I had my doubts about. And it's, and it's not my favorite scent because I don't have, I don't love coffee scents. So this one is coffee orchard and coffee orchard is coffee. I think it was Colombian coffee, honey, crisp apple. And I was just going to say apple, but if you start going through these other sensors, like all different kinds of apples. So Lee's got his, got his uh, hands on a lot of these different apple fragrance oils. This one is uh, honey, crisp apple, and then a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar. To me, it's more like a fall type of scent, but it is still cold weather out there. So uh, you definitely get coffee and apple. Yeah, you get just a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg, brown sugar, that, but it's not, uh, that's not overwhelming. It doesn't make it like too rich, too sweet uh, on it. So that part's good. Don't worry about cinnamon, nutmeg, and brown sugar on it too much. Uh, to me, it's just about equal coffee and apple to start with. And in fact, the apple might give you a little bit more pop. So it may be like 60, 40 apple. And then um, after a while, after about three hours or so, they kind of catch up with each other. It's pretty 50-50. And then the apple goes away and then you get just a little bit of the coffee and maybe some some of the spices goes in there with it. But it's not an over, overly dark. It's not a bitter coffee. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. I liked it much better than I thought. I think it's because of the apple. Uh, a lot of these scents that I have today have apple in it. And it kind of gives it just a little bit of brightness and airy, keeps it from being... Uh, 
uh, such a dark scent. So I kind of like the vibe of that. You kind of get crisp uh, kind of stuff instead of uh, a really dark uh, scent. All right. Uh, next up, which would be my favorite of these, and I'm wearing it right now, but it's called Piedmont. I'm in the Piedmont of North Carolina and uh, Lee's up there in the Piedmont of Virginia. But it's Cuban tobacco, pipe tobacco, tobacco leaf, Granny Smith apple and Fuji apple. So there's some more apples thrown in. And this really does smell like fall in uh, North Carolina. Uh, when, when you go by and they've got uh, apple orchards in the, uh, in the mountains and then they pulled the tobacco and you got a tobacco warehouse. Don't get too excited or overly worried about the Cuban tobacco and tobacco, pipe tobacco. It's all those tobaccos you think is going to be really, really rich and dark and manly is not because of the apple that goes in it. So you want to think uh, tobacco leaf, like the outdoorsy kind of apple, uh, not cigars, not uh, somebody smoking, anything like that. So it's a really good blend there. Not as dark as most tobacco scents because of the apple in it. So once again, you're kind of getting that crisp, uh, maybe autumn air kind of vibe uh, to go along with uh, the ingredients that you see. So that's kind of the picture that I would paint uh, with that. Really good scent. I like it. Uh, the, and then the last one we've got here is Tropic Thunder. Uh, and this is more of your tropical stuff, obviously. So papaya, mango, pineapple, red delicious apple. There's a different apple. I've well, got four different apples so far. Strawberries, orange, and sweet coconut. Uh, and this one is pretty much what you read is what you get on it. So it is uh, a little bit on the sweeter side. If you like sweet and fruity and tropical, that's what this is. Um, once again, I don't know if it's because of the apple or what, but it's not quite as syrupy, sticky sweet as you might think it would be. Uh, it kind of starts that way a little bit, but it, it lightens up uh, pretty quickly. So I'm not a huge fan of those type of scents, but uh, I've grown to love some of those as many uh, of the tropical scents I get to try. So you kind of get something for everybody here with the uh, colder weather type of scents for me with the coffee orchard, Piedmont. And then you got the Tropic Thunder, which would be more of a you know spring and summer with the um, uh, tropical stuff in that. But really good. Also got a lip balm here, this uh, s'mores uh, flavored. So uh, you've got like, I think there were six different uh, flavors of lip balm out there. I'm not a lip balm person, but uh, I put some on earlier. Just we just got through with uh, Valentine's Day, so maybe I need a little chapstick for that. Anyway, that's all I have for uh, this video, guys. Check out EDC Beer Co. Make sure you use the code Banjo15. And as always, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.